Hello, welcome back to The Groomsman. My name is Jonathan and thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing video today. Got this in just now. Probably won't do too many unboxings, uh, but this is a special one. So I definitely wanted to get it on video, first impressions. Uh, it's probably only the second new razor I've ever bought. I have a lot of razors, uh, both vintage and new, but I usually uh, get them all off the buy, sell, trade page. Rockwell Success is the only other razor I bought new. It's got a bunch of packing peanuts. Some jelly bellies. Thank you. Uh, this is from Bull Goose Shaving, by the way. It's the first one I've ever bought anything from Bull Goose Shaving. Uh, so far, pretty impressed. They shipped it out. I ordered it at like 8 o'clock at night. They shipped it out the next morning. UPS was really slow. It's supposed to be two-day ground shipping and... Uh, they definitely didn't make that goal. Got a tuck of Astra SPs. Always a good blade. Packing paper, some more peanuts. I think that's pretty much it for the box. Now for the big ta-da. The rock mill. I actually uh, sold a bunch of stuff on the buy sell trade pages because I was thinking about getting another razor. Uh, the console I was thinking pretty heavily about getting. And these came up for sale. Somebody pointed it out to me, a good friend Fayez, also on the Groomsman channel. Said, oh look, they're back in stock and hard to pass that up. Happen to have all the money from selling a bunch of stuff. Made in Turkey, adjustable. Box is pretty cool. I've seen a bunch of different display boxes they've had with the previous versions. I know some of them were a lot bigger. Uh, I like the compact size. There's a little magnetic clasp, keeps it shut. There's a little cardboard, Keep it like from bouncing around inside the box. It's not like super fancy. I kind of expected a little bit more on the box based off the previous years, but the real treats in the, the pudding, as they say. There you go. The Rock now. 2022 serial number 73. I think that's what that is. Serial number 73. Stainless steel 316L 2022. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom. Hollow bottom, I'll have to find a stand for that. I believe this is copper ring, or no, it's brass, it's a brass ring. They have another collectible edition that has a, a gold ring and a coin in the bottom, I guess. This is pretty, pretty slick looking though. It looks really bulky in the pictures, but it's not as bulky as I thought it would be in person. Uh, fully adjustable. We have Roman numerals, we have a dot for the big basic setting, I think. Although it goes backwards to five at the dot. And then a one, two, three, four, full five. I was told, why well, I wasn't told, I looked it up, that you can do a full two rotations uh, and still have tolerances for shaving before the top comes off for blade removal. Kind of like a, a progress or a yeah, that's probably the best uh, analogy. I think the progress is like that as well. The not or the the Rex Ambassador two piece. Looks like this plate is the one that does the adjustments. There's a little play there while it's open. I think if you tighten it down. No, oh, maybe it won't tighten down without the screw in there. You can see the, the give for the base plate, so it's under pressure with the screw. Or under pressure with the spring, I think. Some machine marks under the head, which is normal. I don't get really picky on that kind of stuff, but this is a pretty, pretty nicely done. Hard to argue that finish. Well, I'm sure somebody out there would argue the finish, but I'm pretty impressed with it. So it looks like when you adjust it at the dot and then do a one, it looks like it just adjusts the blade gap and not gap end angle like say a fat boy would. I don't know if you can see that. Goes all the way down, tighten down. And then as it just up that whole plate moves up 
Let's stick a blade in it real quick just to see what it looks like. So Gillette 7 o'clock. I'm not going to shave with this right now, but. Put on there pretty normal. Three post. No uh, overhang, if that's your thing. I don't generally mind a little bit, but still got enough grip on there where you could grab it to adjust it or pull the cap off, so I like it. Hmm. Does it feel like it's positive blade exposure? Maybe just a little bit right there. That's up at a three. But at a one, it feels pretty neutral. Maybe just a tad. And obviously it gets open pretty wide. I'm looking forward to shaving with that. All right, well, let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in.